EAA Chapter 166, Hartford, Connecticut, home of the Vans RV 12 build. July 5th, 2022, and uh, we're getting close to a pretty good sized milestone in the project where this little airplane is going to start looking like an airplane. And uh, come on inside, we'll find the uh, project lead, Rick Montero. So Rick, we got a major milestone going on here in the uh, build process. Uh, we sort of made two sections of airplane into one. Let's pick it up from where we were from the last uh, build update where we were hanging skins on the airplane. We were just about to hang the side skins on the fuselage. And uh, as you can see now, the side skins have been placed on the uh, fuselage. So since then, we've uh, also added the roll bar. And uh, today we're working on actually mating the uh, tail cone to the uh, fuselage. But prior to doing that, um, we had to do a little research to make sure that we uh, accounted for any sort of avionics and uh, um, you know instrumentation that might go into the tail cone. We wanted to make sure that we captured that and installed those items before mating the parts together because it'd be a lot easier to do it before mating. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about those avionics. Um, could be helpful for other builders. This airplane's gonna have a Garmin G3X Touch single screen, which means there are two um, critical components that need to go back in the tail section. One is a GMU 11 magnetometer, yeah. and, um, and then the other is the Adahars unit. But thankfully, those are already nicely placed. Components aren't in, but the mounts are. That's right. So they're easy to get to even when the uh, fuselage and the tail cone are mounted together. So um, you really don't need to wait until, you know, to install those prior to the mating. You can do that after the mating. Right, and then the other thing that's in the back wave aft section of the tail is the, uh, the trim motor uh, for the pitch trim. And that's right. already, already back there, wires, we've got pitot-static lines. So once we sort of surveyed the tail section, we sort of got the green light to put everything together. That's right. Okay, so one of the items that we uh, installed in the last couple of weeks was the uh, roll bar. So it's a safety item that uh, pr protects the, the uh, pilot and passenger if uh, anything were to happen and the uh, aircraft were to flip over. So this is actually the roll bar and uh, the canopy goes up against it. Um, so gives you head clearance and protects the uh, passenger's heads. Um, Installing this, it's critical to get this angle right because you have these braces here on the uh, fuse that connect the fuselage to the roll bar, and then there's another stiffening brace that connects the baggage bulkhead to the roll bar. Now there are some brackets at the bottom of the roll bar that um, you have to bolt in place, apply the roll bar, and then drill, match drill, and get all of these rivets in. If you don't, if you drill these uh, side rivet holes and match drill them prior to getting the angle right, um, it can cause you a problem. Yeah, in fact, that's what happened to us. We had to backtrack because we did not have these braces in place, these forward braces and the aft brace in place before match drilling these uh, uh, side rivet holes and what that hap what ha that caused was the angle on our roll bar wasn't correct um, so we had to acquire new brackets install them and then redo the uh, match drilling and um, the thing to do to get it right is you have to actually clico these braces on forward and aft um, because then that sets the angle and when you, once you have that angle correct then you can do the match drilling and riveting so this evening what the, we had accomplished was getting, mating the fuselage to the tail cone and there's a bit involved in doing that. Um, to mate them, you have to get the, uh, first of all, get the correct angle between the tail cone and the, uh, the fuselage uh, so that you can then insert the skin, bottom skin of the tail cone between the fuselage and the bulkhead. So that skin has to go, get inserted first. And then on the sides, the uh, side skin of the uh, tail cone actually has to insert beneath the side skin of the, the uh, fuselage on this bottom side skin. But then the upper skin has to um, fold over the side skin of the fuselage. So when you're mating, it's really challenging to get all of those uh, 
you know, interlacing of the skins at the right, you know, in the right position. So it helps to have a lot of hands. We're fortunate here to have, you know, six people, eight people here helping us to make this happen. And it, believe me, it took all of us to make it happen. Um, you know, before we started, we repositioned. We got the tail cone on a table with a matching uh, fuselage on a matching uh, height table so that we had the right height for both of them. Then we had to shim them up using uh, some styrofoam so that we could get the right angle between the tail cone and the fuselage to get the mating to happen. But, um, you know, the key here is to go slow and get lots of help. It took us uh, probably 30 minutes to get everything aligned correctly. Um, but once we did, it uh, came together really nicely. Uh, the instructions actually tell you to take the vertical stabilizer, horizontal stabilizer off uh, to make it easier to handle the tail cone. But what we found is that we had enough hands here, enough people helping out that we were able to do the operation um, with them in place and uh, do it safely by making sure we were constantly had somebody watching to make sure that we weren't going to damage uh, either of those two components. Yeah, so for anybody at home wondering what it takes to make this, this uh, kit look like an airplane, um, our group here has been working on it uh, consistently for about a year, um, but for the last six, six months we've been really hitting it hard, uh, meeting you know, twice a week consistently with a group of anywhere from six to 12 people um, twice a week. Uh, every week for the last six months. Well, now that we got the tail cone and the fuselage made it together, um, some of the next steps that we're going to be doing are putting the, uh, actually the aft window skins on, and then mounting the aft window, and then working our way forward from there, uh, working on some of the interior controls for the fuselage, and uh, working on the uh, firewall forward. <laughs>